So this is the Spectacle from Stylo Studios. It features a subtle curve on the side and costs around $299. It has an accent back. Wait, what was that? So this is a problem I'll bring up later in the video, but yeah, this fell out. But yeah, it does have a pretty back piece. It features a polycarbonate shell. You can get this to be an aluminum shell, but here's a close-up of that polycarbonate. Honestly, I feel like this could have been better compared to some other polycarbonate boards that I had. It is a bit rougher, which I didn't really like. Apparently this will be fixed in the final rendition of the keyboard though. So for all the polycarbonate lovers, just look out for that. And it features a hidden screw Design where the screws are hidden underneath keycaps on the top of the board over here. Now this posed one small problem which they don't have threads inside the polycarbonate version and it makes it a little bit difficult to actually unscrew these and I didn't really like that at all. And not having a thread could actually damage the polycarbonate, so just be careful for that. However, the screws are getting fixed. They're going to be magnetized as well as hex in the final rendition of this keyboard. This aluminum wedge here is the base of the keyboard. It comes in some different colors and houses the daughterboard. And the keyboard does feature a Wilbatech PCB as well as its top mounted. Now that is a bit stiffer, so if that isn't quite your vibe, this might not be the keyboard for you. But here's the thing. I do think for $299 and if you were in the market for a 60% case with a little bit more flair to it, I do think this spectacle is an awesome choice. But that's assuming all the issues that were mentioned get fixed, and apparently they are. And the reason that screw fell out from earlier was because the polycarbonate top piece, the threading there, definitely was worn down. And I know the screw does go into the bottom base where there is some threading, but it just wasn't enough to hold the screw in place. If you are doing polycarbonate keyboards, I strongly recommend anyone making them to add some sort of threaded insert. Metal threaded, that is. Anyways, here's your sound demo of the keyboard. You guys can be the judge of that, and thank you guys so much for watching. See ya.